Pay attention, your 2024 Medicare annual election period is now here. Hi, I'm Chris Bryan, the Medicare Analyst, Licensed Insurance Agent based out of Charlottesville, Virginia, and licensed in other states as well, which you will see along in this video. My goal is simple. It is to help you make a wise and competent decision about all of your Medicare choices. If today is your birthday, then happy birthday to you. A birthday is like a new year, and my wish for you is a great year full of happiness and sunshine. Before I go into the anti-election period, I just want to give a shout out and say thank you to all of you that have reached out to me and I've been able to help you with your Medicare enrollments, especially all of you from Florida. Of course, a lot of Medicare beneficiaries live in Florida, but other states as well. But I've had a lot more from Florida than any of the other states that I am currently licensed in. But I just want to say thank you and thank you for your confidence in me and letting me help you out with your Medicare enrollments. So, Let's go into the 2024 annual election period. First of all, when is the annual election period? Each year, it is from October 15th through December 7th, each and every year. What is the annual election period? It is a time of year for a Medicare beneficiary who has either a Medicare Advantage plan, Part C, or a Medicare prescription drug plan to review their existing coverage and compare it with other or new coverage options so by now, you should have received your annual notice of change and to switch plans if it is in your best interest. What doesn't the annual election period pertain to? It does not pertain to Medigap and Medicare supplement policies. I have a lot of clients that have Medigap or Medicare supplements and numerous times they will call me up and say, hey, do I need to change my plan? And I was like, no, your plan has been the same for decades. You don't need to make a change. Because the supplements and the Medigap plans are standardized, plans, they don't change from year to year. Whereas Medicare Advantage and prescription drug plans are annual plans. They change every single year. So that's why they have to send you the annual notice of change and why you have an election period to make a change to your existing coverage if you want to. What can you do during the annual election period? If you only have a Part D plan and you are only currently on inexpensive Tier 1 and Tier 2 medications and they will stay that way in the coming year, then unless you are paying more than $20 per month for your drug plan premium. You will probably be fine for the coming year, but if in doubt, please reach out to me for help. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan and you are unsure about the plan's coverage, benefits, and how well suited it is for you, then if you are from one of the states I'm licensed in, please reach out to me for help. This year could be very, very important because of what happened last year, and that was the Inflation Reduction Act and the changes that it has made to the Part D coverage starting in 2024 and for 2025. So if you have Medicare prescription coverage, whether it's a standalone drug plan or whether it's built into your Medicare Advantage plan, you would be wise to make sure that you have good drug coverage for next year. And there's not one other option that is maybe considerably better than your current option. So this would be especially true if you take brand name or specialty drugs, those that are tier three and higher. So please do your due diligence and check, reach out to me for help if you are from one of the states that I'm licensed in. So during the annual election period, I can review plan options with you, but this part is important. Every agent is required to have you sign a Medicare scope of appointment document. Unless meeting in person, this is either done electronically or telephonically. An agent can't review your plan options until you sign it. Then in some cases, I have to wait 48 hours after you sign it to review your options. If you want my assistance, it's pretty simple. Start by gathering your medication list. Get the exact name of the drug, the dosage, how many milligrams, milliliters it is, and the quantity that you take each day. If you want my help, I will review your medications and use the Medicare prescription calculator to determine what Medicare says is the lowest overall drug plan available for you and your unique medications. If you have a Medicare Advantage plan or you are considering one, then make a complete list of all your providers, doctors, specialists, clinics, hospitals, etc., that you see on a routine basis, this would be at least once a year. Then I'll review your Medicare Advantage options to see if you already have the right plan for the coming year or if there's another plan more suitable for you. I base my recommendations on the following. I start with your prescription coverage. Is there another plan that will have prescription coverage that is better than yours? Next, we look at network accessibility. Ideally, you wanna go with a plan or a company that has a large nationwide stable network. You want to make sure your providers of choice are in the network. Will you need access to a specialty hospital? Those are things that we will discuss to determine whether Medicare Advantage is even right for you or not and which Medicare Advantage plan 
is most suited for you. Next is financial risk exposure. Most people don't even think about this. And certainly if you call one of the 800 numbers, they're not going to talk to you about it at all. But your financial risk exposure is what you potentially are going to be on the hook for, for co-payments, deductibles, and co-insurance. So ideally you want a plan that has the lowest, what we call MOOP, maximum out of pocket. The lower your maximum out of pocket is, the less financial risk you have. The higher it is, the more financial risk you have. And lastly, we come to the extra benefits. All the stuff that the ads like to tell you about and sell. Get this, get that, make sure you have everything that you're entitled to and everything that you deserve. Let me tell you folks, extra benefits are the last thing that you need to worry about when it comes to a Medicare Advantage plan. They are nice to have, they may have some part of the decision-making process, but that is not why you should choose the particular Medicare Advantage plan that you are choosing. What shouldn't you do during the annual election period or any time of year? Well, first, don't answer phone numbers that you don't recognize. If somebody's calling from an 800 number or even a local number and you don't recognize it, don't answer. A lot of telemarketers throughout the year, but even more so during the annual election period, trying to sell you different Medicare Advantage plans. My advice is don't pick up the phone at all. If you do, by all means, do not give them any personal information. Do not verify. If they haven't say, we have your Medicare ID, it's this. Don't say yes or no. Just hang up on them. If you want to get their name and number and Google their number to see where they're calling from, you can do that. And let me tell you, Medicare or Social Security will not call you and tell you that you have to update, upgrade your plan. So if they call you and say, we're with Social Security or we're calling on behalf of Social Security or Medicare and you need to update your plan, they're flat out lying to you is what's happening. If someone calls and says that they're from your existing insurance company, they may or may not be. I would take their name and number and Google the number and see if it matches to the insurance company. And when in doubt, get your card out, call customer service on the back of your card and verify that somebody from the company was calling you because it's even rare that the insurance company will call you and tell you you have to upgrade your plan. And if they did, they would have already sent you a nice little notice telling you that something's going on with your plan and you would already be well aware of it. So how does it work if you want my help during the annual election period or any other time of year for that matter? Simply just reach out to me. You see my contact information down there. Just give me a call or go to my website and fill out one of the contact pages. Then I will send you that electronic scope of appointment that you will need to review and check all the boxes for Part C, Part D, and Medicare Supplement, other. Click Agree and Submit. Again, if this happens, when you initially call me, I can start reviewing options and benefits right away. If that happens after your initial call and or you contact me through my website, then we have to wait 48 hours before I can review options and benefits with you. We will discuss, review your current coverage. What do you like? What don't you like about? What could you change if you had any say in changing your existing coverage? As mentioned above, I will need your medication list and the names of the providers to best help you. Once I have all that info, I will do a general review of the plans that are most suited for you. Once you pick the one you like or want the most, I will electronically send you the important plan documents and we will especially review the summary of benefits in the plan or star rating. Then if you want to enroll in the new plan, we will take care of the enrollment over the phone. You will be sent an email with a link to verify the enrollment. After that, you will receive a welcome kit and a card typically within seven to 14 days and your existing Part C or Part D plan will be automatically terminated and of course, I will be available down the road should you ever need any help with your plan or your policy. So that is it for today. Pay attention. Your 2024 Medicare annual election period is here. Take the time to review your current plan with other potential plans that will be available for 2024 to make sure that you have the most suitable plan for your unique needs. If you have questions, if you need help, please reach out to me You can give me a call or again, go to my website and fill out one of the contact pages if you're from one of the states that I'm licensed in. And speaking of states, if you don't mind in the comment section below, put down what state you're watching from. That really does help me out to determine whether I want to get licensed in other states or not. If you happen to live near the Charlottesville, Virginia area with an hour to hour and a half and you would like to meet in person, which is a great way to meet, then we can probably work that out. Just reach out to me and let me know. And lastly, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and who do you know that could benefit from this video? Please share it with them. I'm Chris Prang, the Medicare analyst. Make it a great day.